A Twin Cities attorney said he felt compelled to write a book about one of his cases involving Minneapolis police after the death of George Floyd. Mike Padden penned the story about the death of his client Terrence Franklin by Minneapolis police in 2013. No charges were filed against the officers. The civil case was settled earlier this year. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily shares Padden's claims and the department's response. The story surrounding Terrence Franklin focuses on what happened on May 10th of 2013. It's the day the 22-year-old was shot multiple times by Minneapolis police and killed after they say he fled, broke into a home, hid in the basement, and during an altercation, grabbed an officer's weapon, striking two. The story that came out was something that I did not find credible. The police alleged that this young man had grabbed the gun of, one, of a SWAT officer and taught, shot two officers. We didn't believe it. A grand jury cleared police of wrongdoing. Attorney for the family, Mike Patton, contends it was murder and filed a wrongful death lawsuit. Breaking into a home to evade arrest is a crime, but it doesn't merit a death sentence. And engaged in years of a process of discovery that we feel re uh, uh, resulted in the truth coming out, not the official version the police generated. The city and the Franklin family settled in February for $795,000. The settlement negated a public trial. Instead, Patton laid out his case on the pages, taking readers through what he says happened, what his team learned, and how they built their case around two main themes, beginning with what he calls a cover-up. Well, that's the premise of the book. The premise of the book is a blue coat of silence. The blue coat of silence is not just silence. It can also be, be active participation by other officers to protect the bad actors. And he says video evidence can change the narrative. In the Franklin case, a man captured this video on his iPod Touch that Patton says was central to his case. And what happens is you see in video a completely different story than what video, in, in reports, than what the video shows. Minneapolis police told WCCO, quote, this case was investigated thoroughly and reviewed in great depth by legal experts. The outcome of those two investigations yielded that there was no wrongdoing by the Minneapolis Police Department. And the Board of the Police Officers Federation of Minneapolis said a grand jury was convened and presented with all of the facts. The officer's actions were found to be justified and they were completely cleared. Padden hopes readers will draw their own conclusion. So this is not to fan the flames. It's to give people a different perspective. Jennifer Mayerly, WCCO 4 News. The book, The Blue Coat of Silence, The True Story of the Murder of Terrence Franklin, is available tomorrow. Patton says several law enforcement agencies have already ordered it.